Welcome back, Wrap Shop Garage. Got something a little different for you today. Something I've never done. Honestly, something I never thought that I would do. I'm gonna teach a customer how to wrap a vehicle. So the gentleman that owns this, his name is Francisco. He works for another customer of mine who we've done quite a bit of wraps for. And he wants to learn how to wrap. And uh, I'm not concerned that he's gonna go start a wrap shop around the corner after I teach him how to wrap. He just, he's, he seems like a good guy. I don't really know him yet, but I think we're gonna get to know him through this process. I'm gonna shoot this in probably three three videos. Um, today, is, it's actually Saturday night, so there, that shows you my dedication. It's about 6.30 Saturday night. Uh, I just called him to meet me on down here. So today we are going to kind of get this thing stripped down and I really wanna start getting him into the first part of the wrapping. So I think we're gonna maybe do a fender or a door Depends on how well the deconstruction goes, but I know we just had this thing apart not that long ago for the paint, and uh, hopefully it comes apart pretty easily. So we are gonna be wrapping this thing in 3M 2080. Uh, it is gloss deep blue metallic. Now he went back and forth on a couple different blues, and ultimately I think he made the right choice. This is gonna be really sharp on this truck. Uh, as of right now, he's not gonna do the jams, which it's kind of tough when you're doing a red truck to blue. Generally, you'd want to do the jams, but jams are a lot of work. So when you're driving down the road with doors closed, nobody's going to know. I forgot where I was at. I just had to walk away and turn the fan off on the heater because it's right here. And you probably have a hard enough time hearing, it as, hearing me as it is. So we're going to get going on this today. Hopefully get a fender or a door wrapped in this blue. Again, back to the jams. Nobody's going to know when you're driving down the road. You pull over, you pull in the parking lot, car show, yeah, if you open the door, somebody's going to know. Uh, it's generally better to wrap a black car or white car to a color because it doesn't matter if the jams stay, especially a black car, it doesn't matter if the jams stay black. But for right now, we're not going to wrap the jams. It's something that if he decides he wants to do later, we can add pieces in. It's not ideal. You initially want to wrap the jams before you wrap the rest of the car, but uh, we'll kind of go with it. And uh, so we're waiting for him to get here and we're going to get going on this. So again, watch for a three-part series, and this should be pretty interesting, and this is going to be a how-to. So I'm actually going to be teaching somebody how to wrap. All right, Cisco will be here any second, and uh, I forgot to mention the coolest part about this video. I'm doing a collab with, uh, the name of the channel is That Boy Cisco. Uh, he's got a little bit more clout than I do. I think he is over 30,000 subscribers. I'm the little guy in this, but it should be really cool, because you're going to get two different angles of doing this wrap, of removing everything off this truck and wrapping this truck. So you're gonna get to see my perspective and my editing, and you're gonna get to see his perspective and his editing. So as a first timer, and if somebody's been doing this for a long time. So again, his channel is That Boy Cisco. I'll drop a, uh, a link in here to go check it out if you're not already subscribed to him. And uh, this should be fun. All right, so I think I just heard Francisco ride. pull up. Let's go make sure he get in the door. You're killing me, Smalls. What, did you get lost? No, I was all the way in the seat. What's up, dude? How you doing? Good, you? I was all the way in the seat at my mom's house. Because I'll fix it in my other car. Yeah. Me and my dad were changing the uh, suspension, the ball joints, and stuff. On what? Uh, 2008 Honda Accord. Oh. It's my daily. Gotcha. I'm right now, but uh, we just got backed up and all that. But so I think I was looking at this some more. Mm -hmm. And uh, since we're going to be wrapping the grill, the bumper, Let's take, we'll take the headlights out. We'll take the grill out. The grill will be easier to do, not in the car. And then they'll give us full access to the bumper. We can leave the bumper on. That's easier to do in place. Okay. So we'll do headlights. We'll do grill, lower valance, emblems, mirrors, door handles, door molding trim right here. Yeah. I'd say so we'll start with the tonneau cover. That way we, everything we take off, we can kind of put in the bed. Side, yeah. yeah, put in the bed. Yeah. Um, we'll pull taillights this and i think on your taillights what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna probably have to wrap where it's see the burgundy there and the taillights oh. that's gonna look really weird against the blue oh, yeah, so yeah, either yeah. smoke your taillights or oh, we can or about, we can wrap that I was thinking about smoking them. if you smoke them that'll look better you can yeah we'll just we'll do a couple hours and yeah 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 whatever you we'll get like some ready, that way we can each do a 15 minute video and yeah, for sure, yeah. like i said this is just gonna be a low-key thing like you're not gonna drive this thing in winter anyways oh, no, no, no. so We'll just take our time on it. If it takes us a month, it takes us a month. Big yeah, deal, yeah, that, you know? People, people, so, what's up, you guys? I'm going to be back with another video. So today, man, it's Chris. So we're going to start the wrap today. Well, we're not going to start the wrap, but we're going to start stripping all the stuff out. You want to tell people what we're doing today, Chris? All right, I'll probably start. I'm going to get your emblems off. Um, 
your emblems will be basically junk after this because you're not going to want to put double-sided tape on them, but you're going to keep that clean anyways, right? Yeah, I wouldn't. I would, uh, I would keep them off, but it's not me. If you decide you want to put them back on, they sell them on Amazon for really cheap. Yeah, I, I would keep them off. I have not. Yeah, absolutely. I was big in the sound systems when I was younger. I think that's probably what wrecked my ears. You got the keys? They're in the dash. Oh, it's loud. I did this. This is this is sway. I did the headliner. I did it myself. My first time, I did it. That looks good. I did this. This is Bondo with you, uh, fiberglass. So you, you made all it? I mean, you made that. Yeah, I made all that. This is the original uh, head, uh, headliner from the truck. Yep. So just you switched, just, just you just put the suede on and uh -huh. you molded this yeah, into your headliner? Yeah, I molded this with, this with uh, fiberglass and uh, Bondo, the ones we use for the car. It's a good thing you're not tall. Yeah, but hey, it came out nice, right? <laughs> it looks really nice. Yeah, I did this too. I would have, I would have never guessed that you made that you made this. No, I did. So, it's, my, it's in my videos. I did this too. Look at yeah, nice work, man. I did this too. But well, like I said, now I got tighter than those 24s. I'm, go, I'm probably gonna go lower now, smaller. You know? Yeah, I like 22. Is a good size. 2022. Once I started shooting YouTube, it was tough to get used to not having music on in the background. It, once I started shooting YouTube, it was tough to not have music on in the background. Like, so we can listen to it right now. Yep, I got dinged a couple times. Yep, till I, that's what, that was one of the learning things about YouTube. It was like, I got copyright twice too, but it wasn't like major, you know? Yeah. Are you gonna do some shows with this thing? Yeah. That's my plan. Cool. I can't wait to see your rack, Chris. <laughs> I can't wait. Dude, that color is so nice. It is a, it's a nice color. It is a nice color. So I kind of, in the introduction for my video, I said we're not doing jams, but we're going to kind of play that by ear. Generally, when you do jams, you do them first. Yeah. Where but they're... Put this? Just leave it on top? Yeah, just put it, put it right on top here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a complete step-by-step -step in teaching you how to wrap. So even before we start wrapping this, we're gonna try a couple sample pieces yeah, and I'm just gonna teach you like what, how the vinyl reacts when you pull it, when you stretch it too far, when you don't stretch it enough. So you get the basics first. I look up uh, that truck, the Pace 500. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> plenty of fuel. There's only, yeah, they made 15, they made 1,500 of them. Oh, yeah. What's that? Well, you're well on your way. If you buy one, you gotta buy an older square body. You gotta buy an older square body from like the 80s. <laughs> I think what I might do is I might do a spotlight on a particular car. I'll pick a day, do a spotlight on it, do a walk around, start it up, and maybe when I get the lift back into action here. I do, um, but not enough to keep doing a business on performance. I know enough about my own stuff. Yeah, I can help you. When we were building motors, I was doing all the tuning. I was doing all the computer tuning. Yeah. So I have all the HP tuner software. That's the one thing about it. Find the tuning guy, you know? So did you start it like with a customer car or, uh, or just one of you? Well, I've been in the graphics industry since 1996 and wrapping really didn't start becoming prominent until like the early 2000s. And uh, just when we started getting jobs in, I just kind of figured out how to do it. and. Yeah. Kept honing my skills and. Because I remember uh, back then, when people were talking about getting the car wrapped, they were it was a big deal. It was huge, yes. Yeah. And we were, we really weren't doing. And now everybody, we, now everybody wants to get a wrap. 
So we weren't really doing color change wraps when the wraps started. Uh, at least when I started doing them, we were doing the commercial wraps, you know, the vans and the yeah. semi-trailers and stuff like that. So. So do you do a lot of I try not to. Oh, you do? I try. We're so busy with the other stuff that these take so much detail. Uh, no, not the first one, but <laughs> no, not one of them either. You're just going to be another one along the line, but I, I turn actually a lot of them away. Well, why is that Chris? Well, like, so you have to, you have to pay attention to detail when you're doing these. Okay. Uh, so like er everybody wants it to look like paint, yeah. even though it's a big sticker yeah, yeah. and you're going to get it to, you know, 97% look like paint, but there might be an area where if you peek around a corner or something, it's yeah. not going to look like paint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for me, it's, it's not worth the headache when I have my other stream of revenue for doing the commercial reps, like the hoopster van there, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so much better. And it's a little more forgiving. Like everything doesn't need to be 100% perfect like on a color change wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in other words, to sum it up, it's not worth my headache. But however, if I train you and you get really good at doing color change wraps, then I bring you in here part time and pay you a good amount of money to do wraps for me. How's that? Right. Well, because my wife, she was born in Milwaukee. Okay. So then I moved with her to Milwaukee right when I was like only like 19, 20. Mm -hmm. So that's when then I moved with her. That probably helped shape you up a little bit when you met her? Did it help shape you up a little oh, bit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good woman will do that for you. Oh, yeah, she did. She did. She did. She did. She did. She did. That's one thing. My wife is the same way. Like she stands, she stands next to me in everything that I do, and she backs me 100%. She's my, she's my biggest supporter. Then there should be the, the latch too. Yeah, I'm trying, to keep, I'm trying, trying to get the latch. It should just clip out of there. Yeah, that's what that's what the last time for I don't even remember that idea. Oh I did. This one here? Yeah, I don't know. It's like, so, uh, it should usually it's just a plastic piece yeah. kind of clips in and it should clip out and then you okay. unhook it. That is not a wrap on this wrap. Uh Francisco is left already. And we got most of it stripped up stripped off of the truck. We have to pull the headlights yet and really start on cleaning and clay barring anything that needs to be done. But that is an end here to part one and stay tuned for part two where we actually start putting some color on this thing. So thanks for watching. As always, please like, tag, share, subscribe. Make sure you, if you're not already on Cisco's channel, go check it out, um, that boy Cisco. And thanks for being here. Take care.